Welcome back. My name is Nigel Schroeder, and I want to thank you for tuning into my channel. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit that join button. Join the channel membership. Make sure that you are tuning into all of our uploads, the previous uploads that we've had, as well as our new uploads. Ring that notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe to our other channels, The Nigel Schroeder Show, which is my podcast, as well as The Credit Sensei, which is my other channel, where I'm giving you guys all types of tips on building your business and personal credit. The Cash Couple is another great channel that we have where you're going to get to see some behind-the-scenes action with myself and Crystal. And don't forget to go back and tune into some of my shorts where I give you guys some of my keys to success and some quick credit tips. Check out our playlist as well as our previous live streams. And with that being said, go ahead and sit back and prepare for the show. All right, welcome back you guys. And today I want to kind of make a long form video of my credit secrets part one series so i'm going to be doing this series in shorts and then i'm going to be coming back bringing you guys these same videos in long form to give you an explanation of the short that you saw so if you saw the short already and you kind of weren't too sure about the information in the short now you're going to be able to take that information from the short and really understand what's going on and how it's going to impact you on your credit journey. All right. So the topic today is does pulling your credit score affect your credit? And the answer we already said is it depends on how you pull your credit. All right. So there are websites that allow you to pull your credit and check it personally to monitor your credit so rather that be through your bank account um rather that be through credit karma experian um credit sesame um my annual report whatever website you use identity iq my fico the list goes on and on when you're checking your credit on a website typically the credit check that you do is going to give you your soft pull FICO score, all right, or your soft pull Vantage score. But it's not going to do what is called a hard pull. So basically, the general concept here is when you apply for credit, if you apply for something, you apply for a car or a credit card or um, a bank account or anything like that. When you are applying for credit, when you are applying to open something and they run your credit, it's going to be ca called a hard pull. A hard pull will affect your FICO and your Vantage scores. It goes on your report in your hard increase section. Now, granted, that section is only 10% of your credit score. So it is a much smaller portion than any of the other categories, um, such as utilization, which is weighing 30 to 35 percent. Therefore, it's worth a lot less in your score, even if you do accidentally pull your credit score as a hard pull. So when you do so, it's going to notify you if you have any particular credit monitoring. So say you have a my FICO account or Experian account or Credit Karma account or Credit Sesame or whatever it is that you use to monitor your credit, they will send that over to you in usually a notification or email in a couple seconds and say, hey, your credit's been pulled. And then you're going to know that that's not a way that you want to use for monitoring your credit, but rather for applying for credit. Okay, so that's going to be your big kicker there is when you are applying for credit, it's going to give you a hard pull that's going to go on your credit report. 
that's going to affect your credit score. When you are monitoring your credit or looking at your credit score without applying for anything, that's typically going to give you a soft pull and is not going to affect your credit score. If you're still unsure, like I said, stay safe. Use the sites that I've already named. Pick one, whichever one works for you, and know that those sites aren't going to affect your credit score. Or even use bank pre pre-qualifications for credit cards or loans and those pre-qualifications again typically do not pull your credit so just make sure that it says that it will not be a pull on your credit report and or says that it is a soft pull or credit monitoring and any of those terms will generally tell you that that particular product is not going to Pull your actual credit report and affect your credit score. With that being said, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. I really hope I clarified this for you guys who are new to credit. And if you have any more questions, feel free to drop them below and I'll get to them as soon as possible.